Hey y'all and welcome to episode 81 of the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. My name is Kay and this is my YouTube channel where I chat about all of my crafting adventures. Today I have, it's probably going to be a shorter episode, but we have a few finished objects, some works in progress, a giveaway winner to announce, and some mail to show. So let's go ahead and jump right in. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the Crazy Sock Lady. And we do also have a Ravelry group for this podcast. If you head over to Ravelry and up at the top, you hit the groups tab and search there, it should pop right up. There will be links down below this video for everywhere that you can find me as well as show notes for this episode. So we're gonna start with finished objects today. I've got, this is, my second cup of coffee today and I broke out the Christmas mugs because it is December 2nd. It's my sister Cassie's birthday today as well. So I'm gonna drink some coffee while we chat today. And speaking of Cassie, the first finished object are these cute pair of socks for her daughter, my niece, Lily. Look how precious those are. They haven't been blocked or anything. I don't have sock blockers that small, but I'll probably give them a wash and just let them lay out and dry before I send them off. I'll probably wait and do all gifts together. One big washing and blocking what needs to be blocked party. But these socks were so much fun to knit. So the yarn is by Mealy's Knits in the I'm Melting colorway. And I used this yarn to make fingerless mitts for Cassie years ago. So I was so excited to find it when I kind of cleaned out and redid my office in here. I found this yarn in my leftover bits and I thought it would be perfect for socks for Lily for Christmas because Cassie is obsessed with the Wizard of Oz. I know I've, I've probably mentioned that a couple times before and Lily has gotten obsessed too. They went over the summer to, I believe it's in North Carolina. It's like an old amusement type park, I believe that used to be open for Wizard of Oz and they reopen it now, I think once a year, one weekend out of the year, I believe. So they went and I just loved seeing the videos, seeing Cassie's excitement and then seeing Lily be excited because now she's into Wizard of Oz. So I thought these would be fun. So the I'm Melting colorway and then the red was just some leftover cascade that I had and I thought it would be fun. It kind of ties in the ruby slippers, I thought, to do those. So for Lily's socks, she is four. I did, I wrote down how many stitches. Let me check. 52 stitches is what I cast on. And I followed the counts for the socks from the Rose City Rollers Littles pattern. I used a US1 2.25 millimeter needle. And I just followed the counts as far as how many to cast on the heel flap. And then I did the toe that's in that pattern as well. So if you're looking for a pattern for younger kids, that's definitely one that I would check out. It gives you different information on like foot width and foot length for, it didn't give it for this size, for like foot length, but it had like the width and I don't know, it was just a really good pattern for little kids, I think. The only difference, the Rose City Rollers and the Rose City Rollers Littles doesn't have a leg or a cuff. It has like a rolled cuff on the sock. I just did a leg and a cuff. If you need counts for those, all of that is in the project pages on Ravelry and all that will be linked below. The next finished object is even tinier. So these socks are for my other niece, my sister Courtney's daughter, Henley. So this was some more leftover yarn that I had. This is Cascade Heritage Prince, and I believe it's number 20 
Lightning. I believe I don't have the tag anymore, but I looked back on my Ravelry project page and if I'm remembering correctly, it was number 20. So this yarn I used to make Lily a little stuffed bunny rabbit a couple of years ago. So I had a good bit left because it was a tiny little bunny. <laughs> so I thought I would make her a cute little pair of socks. And I actually probably could still get a pair for Lily if I wanted, but I'm not really sure that she'll wear them. I'm going to see before I make her anymore if Henley's too young to really have a say. She's not even a year old yet, but Lily, you know, five-year-old girls, well, she's four, but they can be kind of picky. So I'm going to see if Cassie says that she wears those before I make her anymore because it's been a while since I've made her hand in socks. But like I said, Henley is not even a year yet. She'll be a year in March. So I again followed the Rose City Rollers Littles, used a US1 2.25 millimeter, and I did the nine to 12 month size in that pattern. For Lily's, I did the largest size in the Littles pattern. All right, that is it for finished objects. That's all I've got. I'm trying to think, I don't think I've finished anything else. So, works in progress. I've started my advent knitting. I'm gonna put on some tufted woolens really quick <laughs> while I chat about advent knitting. This is tufted woolens cider donut. I picked this up, not this past Rhinebeck, but the Rhinebeck before. My hands and my nails, my cuticles, they've all been so dry since the weather cooled off. It happens every year. So I've been putting on lotion and this tufted woolens like crazy. So I'm going to lotion up really quick because my hands are dry. They get really itchy. Okay. So I've started advent knitting. That's part of my whips, but I'm doing vlogmas again this year. If you are not familiar with vlogmas, it's typically done on YouTube. I know some people do it on Instagram stories and IGTV as well. Uh, I've done it the past two years. This will be my third year. I do it here on YouTube and I upload the videos range in how long they are. The one from yesterday, I think it ended up being like 16 minutes. Just depends on what we have going on that day. So anyways, I'm doing Vlogmas this year. So if you want to keep up with what I'm doing this month leading up to Christmas, there will be a different video posted each day. I always post the day after. So today's December 2nd. And right before I started this, December 1st, finished uploading. I don't edit them until the following day because the evenings for me are about spending time with Eric and our boys. You know, Eric's at work all day, the boys are at school all day. So when the evening rolls around, I don't wanna sit there with my headphones in editing. I would prefer to be spending that time with the boys. And then once they go to bed, spend time with Eric. You know, that's our one-on-one -on -one time that we get on a typical day. So my videos always go up the following day because I edit them the next morning when I wake up and it's just me awake <laughs> after Eric's left for work before I get the boys up. That's when I do mine. Anyways, where was I going with this? Advent knitting. So I have my advent knitting here to show you quickly, but I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm talking about it every day on Vlogmas. So if you want to keep up with Advent knitting and watch things grow every day, you can head over here on this YouTube channel. There'll be a playlist for Vlogmas 2019. But I've been keeping my Advent knitting in this bag that I showed on the last episode from Cookie and Bees. Fun Christmas bag. And let me see if I can tip this over to show you without spilling everything. So in here, I have got my Cozy Knitter, the 2019 Advent Stripe Socks. So I did the cuffs in the color, the mini that I purchased to go with them from her. And then I'm doing one stripe a day. There's 24 stripes. I don't think the sock will be completely done by then but I'm only doing one stripe a day. I've got, you know, other gift knitting and things to do. I know some people are doing more than one stripe, but I I think it's gonna be fun to just do one stripe a day and then I can finish the pair of socks on Christmas day. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So I've got those in there. 
I have got the Bumblebee Acres advent calendar over there and I've started a round and round cowl, which is one of my patterns. I've started that. I'm doing one stripe a day with the mini. And then I also started a granny stripe blanket. I held off on this for so long. I talk about that on the advent episode from yesterday, but I started it with a advent calendar that a viewer sent me that is from last year that she didn't use. So that's my advent knitting. More details and chatting about that daily over on the Vlogmas episodes. And I have a couple of gift knits that I'll show you. Actually, I only have one because the other one's in my purse which is out there. So we'll just talk about one today. The other one, you'll see, don't worry, but I'm just not on this episode. I'm not very far on it anyways. It's a pair of socks for my mother-in-law. I don't have, I think I have a little over the cuff done, but still on the first sock on that one. That one's in my purse to be my on the go knitting. I just haven't had a lot of on the go lately. We've <laughs> kind of just relaxed, which has been so nice. Yesterday was definitely a relaxing day. So I have this bag that was um, from my friend Pam, a fun Christmas bag. And in here I have a pair of fingerless mitts for my sister Cassie. So I told you guys I made her fingerless mitts out of this yarn and she wears them every year. That was years ago, that a couple years ago, the very least two to three. And she wears them every winter season. And she said this year she would like a new pair and she would like black. Black yarn, black, black, black. So I love her and she's obviously knit worthy because she wore those all the time. So I did a pair of fingerless mitts. I only have one done. That's my progress on the second one. So I'm using Knit Picks Stroll Fingering and just black. This is something I had in stash. I'm trying to do all stash. Use all stash for gift knits. Cause that's just, that makes me happy to be using stash. So here's the first one. I used the counts, the basic counts from any of my fingerless knit patterns that you can get on Ravelry, the small size. That's how many I cast on. And then I did the thumb gusset increases for that. But the only thing I did is I didn't do a super long cuff or a super long right here before I started the thumb gusset. And then I did this a little shorter up top as well. I figured that, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think the other ones I made her were a little bit longer. I know the cuff was longer. I went back to the project page. And I think it was longer up top too. I'm going to see how she likes this length, a shorter mitt, more tight fitting mitt. So I'll see how she likes it. If she doesn't like it and she wants them longer, I can always knit her another pair. She's very knit worthy. So that's the progress on those. I've really only been able to work on them during the day because it's black yarn. So I've just tried to work on them during the day, sit by the window with the blinds open and get a little bit done. They go really quickly. Surprisingly, I mean, they're out of fingering weight yarn on a US 1 2.25 millimeter needle, but they, they really go quickly, especially since I shortened like the area down below and then the area up here. You're not knitting quite as much. I actually have another work in progress that I forgot about. In this bag, I've got a scarf for my niece, Lily. I did her the socks, but I also wanted to do something else. And then I picked up a couple of, let me show you guys these. I think they're in the closet right here. All right, I picked these up for her. She's really into Frozen. So we saw these and I thought that would be super cute. It's hard for me to buy toys for her because she lives in West Virginia. I live in Arizona. I don't know what she's got. And there's so much family that, you know, when she's at that age where all they buy is toys. So it's hard 
to find something that I think no one else is going to get her. So I picked those up for her. Obviously, I doubt she will set them up and collect them. She will use them as toys, which is perfectly fine. They're super adorable and she loves Frozen. So yeah, that's her toy from us. But I also wanted to knit her a couple of things. She's really knit worthy. I knit her sweaters each year and things and she's super cute. So Cassie said she thought she would like a scarf. So here is what I have done so far. And I have not decided how long I'm going to do this. I don't know really how long to do it. I've just been kind of thinking, okay, you know, if Cassie wants to double it up, it needs to be long enough to go to pull through. And obviously she's smaller than I am, but I've just been trying it on myself like that to kind of see what I think will work. So I still have a little ways to go, but the yarn that I'm using is Knit Picks Bravo Worsted. Again, it's just stuff that I had in stash. And this colorway is Freesia, right? Yes. And then this one is Lady Slipper. So I thought they were super cute together. I'm hoping I'll use all of it, but I don't know that I will. <laughs> so I just kind of have made this up as I went along. I have a project page for this that has full notes, but I'm using a US 8 five millimeter. I'm using my Likey interchangeable set for this. And I cast on 20, I believe. Again, it's on the project page. But I cast on 20 and I'm doing 30 rows in just plain knit. So it's been a super easy potato chippy knit. I just go, go, go. And then what I do is count the garter ridges. So one garter ridge is two rows. So it's pretty easy to count. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All the way up till you get to 30 and then cut the collar and add in the next one. So that's been a super easy, fun knit. Hopefully Lily will like it and get some use out of it this winter. And that's all of the whips. Like I said, I have the socks going for my mother-in-law, but they are in my purse. I have everything ready in a bag to start a hat for Cassie's fiance, Lily's dad. So yeah, I'm just full on in gift knitting mode and I'm loving it. It's making me so happy. I really enjoy knitting for other people. I always have. A lot of the things that I used to do were just always for other people. I never used to make anything for myself. So I have gotten better about keeping some things that I make for myself, but I still just thoroughly enjoy gift knitting when I know that they're knit worthy and used and and all of that sometimes it's like okay I don't know that they ever really used what I knit them and that's you know that kind of takes the fun out of it but when I know that they get used and loved that's when I enjoy them so that is all of the knitting that I've been doing I've still been working on some dishcloths here and there because I'm planning on sending some to Cassie and to her future mother-in-law, her fiance's mom, because Lynn is such a sweetie. And I always love when I get to go stay with Cassie and visit with Lynn because she'll come over and she watches Lily during the day while Cassie's at work. So I always really enjoy getting to visit with her. She's such a nice lady. And I've gifted her dishcloths and things before and she loves them. So I'm going to send some along as a Christmas gift to her. All right, now let's go ahead and announce the giveaway winner from last episode. So we did a giveaway for a yarn cozy from Cookie and Bees, which is this bag. And it's not this fabric, but a little yarn cozy from them like this. And the winner, so you have to comment on episode 80, and I chose a winner this morning, and the winner is Nitta Cass Creates. I'll put that right here on the screen. And if you would just get in touch with me, 
at crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com. That'll be linked below. And let me know your full name and your mailing address, and I will get that cozy and some other goodies sent out to you as soon as I get your information. So thanks so much to everybody who participated in that. I always enjoy doing the giveaways here on YouTube. Now, mail, mail time. So I received a package. Let me not pull everything off of there. <laughs> Make a mess. I received a package from Three by the Sea Designs. Three of the sweetest, sweetest ladies. And they sent along, get everything situated here. For one, I love, they had post-its on everything so I knew exactly what everything was for. It made it very easy. So they sent, I'm not going to unwrap this. I will show you guys some of the things that I got. I'm not sure exactly what's in this, but they sent two giveaways for you guys. I know this is um, Stitch Markers and Progress Keepers, but I don't know exactly what they are. So they sent along a package of stitch markers and progress keepers. I'm leaving them wrapped because once you see how pretty these are, I don't want to unwrap this and take the bubble wrap off and then it, we're leaving it just like this. It'll be better. <laughs> and then they also sent another giveaway, which is a project bag. The drawstring project bag very cute and then they sent along this bag for me very very pretty has a cute flowered zipper pull and oh my goodness you guys they sent along so many stitch markers and progress keepers i was blown away Look at all of these. I'll show you each set. I won't go into detail on every single one because they are just, each little set is packed full. But you guys have got to go check them out. I will of course link their shop down below because these sets that they put together are amazing. They are so well thought out. It just blows my mind. So this is one of their Christmas ones. This is a nativity set. It's a very pretty star and then this big lobster clasp with all of these I mean there's an angel it's hardly hard to show these there's Mary and the angel there's even baby Jesus I mean there are just so Mini. There's a little sheep. So pretty. And then they sent another Christmas one. And I'm so excited to get these put on my gift knitting and my advent knitting. I did put one of the stitch markers on there yesterday. So, okay, I'm going to save that one for last because that one really blew my mind. <laughs> There is another set on a big lobster claw. It says, not all who wonder are lost. And then there's just so many pretty ones on this. I think this was their wild Wild Heart? I don't remember if this was their wild. I can't remember what the name of this one was. I saw this one on their website. So it's just so pretty. Choose Happy. There's one with a dream catcher. It says Wild Heart Gypsy Soul. So many pretty. And there's a good mixture. Like there's some progress keepers and stitch markers on each set. Then there's an Arizona themed one, which of course I love because that's where I live. So 
there's a cactus, an Arizona charm. Of course, there's a scorpion because, you know, they're everywhere. Speaking of, this room that I'm in right now, I've never seen a scorpion in here, ever, never, never seen one in this room. We've seen them in pretty much every single room in the house, almost, yeah. And I was in here setting up my advent calendar the other day from Bumblebee Acres, it's over here. And I just happened to glance to my left and there was this tiny little brown spot on the wall, like the size of, it wasn't any bigger than my thumbnail. And my very first thought was that it was like a piece of dirt or something because you know, I've got boys and dirt just ends up everywhere. So I just, I thought it was a piece of dirt and I almost reached over to kind of just like scrape it off the wall. And then I just happened to like pause. I don't really know why I paused before I did that, but I like bent down to look and I thought I saw two little pinchers. Like it was so tiny. It was hard to see until you got right up on it. I thought I saw two pinchers and I was like, Hmm. So I went out in the living room. I grabbed my phone. And I brought it back in and turned the flashlight on and got close to it. It was baby scorpion. Yep. Baby scorpion. I thought it had gotten cold enough that they were already hibernating. I don't know when they actually start hibernating in their nests, but I thought they were gone. Eric's like, no, they're looking for warmer spaces now that it's getting cold to hibernate. So it had somehow gotten inside. I'm not sure if it came in if, cause they're so small and they can squeeze into spaces. So really it could have gotten in around the window maybe, I don't know. And there's an air vent up there and I know that they can come in through your air vents. It's terrifying. So yeah, tiny baby scorpion. I, that's what I just kept doing was like, ooh, it sends like a shiver up my spine. I don't know why. My boys are not scared of them. Eric's not scared of them. Austin got stung by a baby twice. I think he got him two times, maybe three. I can't even remember. And he's like, mom, I've been stung by them. It was the same baby. But he's like, I've been stung by one and I'm not scared of them. It was nothing. It wasn't bad at all. <laughs> but they just creep me out. So now I've been on the lookout when I come in this room. I'm just like every little thing, I'm like, what, what, what is that? What is, ooh, I don't know. I just don't like them. So yeah, anyways, little story there, but this is the perfect Arizona set. I love it. The last one, oh my, I cannot even tell you what this one means to me that they put this together. I have never seen anything like this in stitch markers or progress keepers. And I think I looked one time and I couldn't find any years ago. They sent me a basketball one. So it has one with a basketball. That one has a hoop. And there's a couple of other little basketball one and just a fun orange. But this one, you guys, a basketball mom one. Oh my gosh. I, you guys should have seen me freaking out about this when I opened it. My husband was like, well, that is pretty cool, but <laughs> I was a little overly excited, but oh man, that one's gonna be so much fun because I always take my knitting to basketball. Always, always, always practices, games, tournaments, always got my knitting. So they just completely blew me away with what all they sent for me and then what all they sent for the giveaway. Run and check them out. You guys will not be disappointed. The bag has, I didn't show you guys this, but it has a larger size pocket and then a smaller size one that you could put like a pin or some knitting needles down inside has a label on the inside which is great because you know sometimes it's hard to remember when you've had a bag a while who it's by and I always like to give credit but sometimes it's just hard to remember so I love that they have their label in there and a nice handle love them and it's nice and squishy too it's a 
very nice and squishy bag. All right, so that is it for mail. These two things that they sent, I'm gonna stick in the giveaway cabinet back here. Is it this one? Am I pointing at the right one? Yes, this one right here has some giveaway stuff in it. So I'm gonna stick this stuff in here because we will have a fun knit along coming the first of the year and all of that. So I wanna have some prizes set aside for that giveaway. So that's pretty much all of the knitting for today. A little bit of chatter. I already talked about how Vlogmas has begun. So you can keep up with me daily over there. I don't know that I'll be recording regular episodes throughout this month. I wanted to do this one to kind of chat about Vlogmas and the gift knits I've started and announce the giveaway winner. But it'll be a lot to vlog. Just recording Vlogmas is a lot. It's super fun and I love doing it. But doing that and editing it each day and then having to edit a podcast as well, it can be quite a bit to put into a day. And I'm trying to really relax and make time to kind of slow down this month. I'm not, I have one pattern that I'm gonna be working on getting out to testers this week. And then that's it for the year as far as designing goes. I'm not gonna start any new designs. I'm taking some time to slow down a bit. I just think that would be a nice break to, and then kind of center myself and get myself ready to go for the new year because there's so much I want to do in the coming year that I think a little bit of time this month to slow down will be perfect. So Teresa, my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law were here for Thanksgiving. I hope everybody that celebrates Thanksgiving had a great Thanksgiving. They were here for Thanksgiving. Well, they left to go back the day of Thanksgiving. So we did Thanksgiving dinner on Wednesday instead of Thursday. You guys may be able to hear the jets flying over right now. I always joke with Eric and I text him sometimes and I'm like, can you tell the jets not to fly over today because I'm recording something? He's like, I don't think they'll listen. <laughs> um, anyways, they were here and it was great to have them visit. They got to see Austin play in a game on Sunday, which was fun because they haven't got to watch any of his club basketball games. So that was great that they got to watch him. We went to Medieval Times in Scottsdale and spent some the afternoon walking around Scottsdale. We just had a great, great visit. And then Teresa, my mother-in-law, will be coming back this Friday, December 6th. And she'll be here for 10 days. She gets here on the 6th and she leaves on the 16th. So that's going to be a lot of fun. She scheduled it to come out. Austin has a tournament this weekend, the 7th and 8th. And then he was supposed to have one the 14th and 15th. But it's not on the schedule anymore. So I'm not sure if they're going to add another one or what's going on. But we'll see. She'll at least get to see one. And Wyatt has his very first ever fencing tournament this Saturday, the 7th. We're hoping that they don't end up being at the same time because that could get interesting <laughs> if they're both scheduled at the same time. Eric will be going one way, I'll be going the other. We'll figure it out, but hopefully they're not. And then my mother-in-law will get to see everything. So it should be a lot of fun, a busy weekend. Those boys just keep us so busy with their sports and I love it so much. But I think that I'm checking to make sure there was nothing else, but I think that's pretty much it. Vlogmas will be the place to catch up on what I'm doing. I may try to record another episode later this month and kind of show gift knits before I send them, like a gift knit episode or something to show you guys all of the gift knits that I finished. No guarantee on that because I will be showing them with Vlogmas. So Vlogmas is really the place to watch in December to see what all I'm working on. I love watching everybody's Vlogmas episodes. I'm excited to sit down today and watch the ones that people have uploaded from December 1st. So that's probably what I'm gonna do after I get some stuff done around the house. But all right, that'll wrap up today's episode. I hope that you guys are doing well and that you enjoyed today's episode and I will catch up with you guys, like I said, daily Vlogmas videos this month. So I'll see you guys later. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.